If you're thinking about spending your money in the Cleveland market, you better be watching this show before you do because my clients are going to put down 65 grand on this deal, but not until I tell them whether or not they should. So, folks, if you want the real story behind investing in Cleveland, you want unbiased data analytics, property analytics, no apologies, no fluff, you're in the right spot. Let's jump in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. The show where I work with investors like you to help you guys Make money investing in Cleveland real estate. In today's episode, I'm working with my dude Walter and his partner. You guys are two investors from California, and you guys put this property under contract. You also put two others under contract, right? You sent all these properties to me. You would like me to analyze them before you move forward in closing because you guys are looking to spend... Uh, Several hundred thousand dollars here, right? So just like you get an interior home inspection, you need to get an inspection on whether or not this thing could make you money, right? So this one, 1658 Delmont, Cleveland, 44112. They should have actually said East Cleveland because this one's in like East Cleveland, I believe. Uh, let me double check that. But when I pulled it up on Google or at least your uh, map... It's okay, so it's like the Cleveland East Cleveland border, okay? All right, both of those are kind of going to be very important, right? As far as East Cleveland goes, most everything in the city of East Cleveland is going to be rated on an F scale. When I say F, I'm referring to the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland area on an A to F scale. F being lowest cost, highest risk, A being uh, highest cost, lowest risk. Pretty much all of East Cleveland is going to be an F. This one is technically Cleveland, but on the east side of Cleveland. A lot of the east side neighborhoods of Cleveland, not the same as East Cleveland, are also going to be rated an F. But there's also some neighborhoods in Cleveland that are much nicer. We even have A neighborhoods in Cleveland, right? So East Cleveland, it's kind of simple. You can kind of understand what you're getting. Whereas if you're in the city of Cleveland, it's going to vary a little bit. And that's where I could really help out. This particular neighborhood, though, this is a, a very high-risk neighborhood. Uh, this is incredibly blighted. This particular property is going to be a dud. Now, you guys have got three properties under contract. This one, I don't even think you guys, if you have the ability to get out of your contract without paying your inspector to go there, you should. You're just going to be burning money. This is not the house you want to get, fellas. All right. This is... Like, just incredible blight, right? Here is the house, okay? This is the immediate street, right? See this? Vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant, 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 vacant lot, vacant lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. I don't know if I did this street. Here's one, 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 one. Okay. All right. See that? Media area. We got more vacant lots than actual houses. Now, this is a neighborhood that's over 100 years old, right? So it's not like this is like a new build neighborhood. Okay. So uh, what happens is you get a lot of houses. Okay that when they become dilapidated, and they're going to become dilapidated in neighborhoods like this because it's, it's the ghetto, right? It's the hardcore fucking ghetto is what it is. So when they become dilapidated, right, it gets to the point where people just walk away from them, and then they get more dilapidated, the city tears them down, and then the land is available for a dollar. You can get the land for a dollar, right? You can't put money into properties like this because the cost to fix them up oftentimes is more than what they'd be worth after they're repaired, right? And that's... Fellas, what would happen on this particular property if you bought it at 65, right? It's a triplex, uh, owner-occupied. There's two vacant units. First of all, 
even if you could get it at 65 and it was like fully turnkey ready, you'd probably be overpaying for the neighborhood, right? That's why there's so many vacant lots in the neighborhood, right? The cost to repair is more than you could ever make the houses for, even if you were getting the houses for free. So this one, you don't even have to dig deeper uh, into this. Uh, at 65, it's not a deal. At 55, it's not a deal. At 45, it's not a deal. At 35, it's not a deal. At 25, it's not a deal. It's just really not a deal, right? It's just, I don't think this is the neighborhood you guys want to focus on. You're coming into the Cleveland area, brand new investors from California, never been to this market before. This is probably one of the hardest neighborhoods, most high risk neighborhoods you could possibly invest in. The other two properties you sent in to me, uh, much different, right? We're going to get a much different analysis on each of those, right? Uh, so just based on the simple fact that you got three deals under contract, this one is by far the worst, most highest risk. I really don't want you guys to spend any more money uh, or thought or time into this one. There's really no deal to be made here. The neighborhood's just too blighted. I don't even know who you guys would be able to get to actually handle that work, right? Like Holton Wise, we wouldn't do that renovation for you no matter how much you paid us. We wouldn't do the management. It's just too difficult to staff companies like ours uh, where you're sending people into neighborhoods that are this high in crime. Not to mention everything I just said about being completely underwater. Uh, this one's just a total dud, which is also why you see a lot of properties like this, right? A lot of duplex, triplexes in the Cleveland market. They're selling for over 100 k like that, right? Within days in like C and D grade neighborhoods. This one is priced at only 65, but it's been on the market for over 246 days. That is a freaking eternity, right? So the rest of the market is telling you there's no way in hell anybody should pay 65 and you guys should definitely not pay 65. So let's just get rid of this one. Whatever you can do legally to cancel your contract, do so. If you can cancel it without having to pay an inspector five, six hundred bucks to go out there, you absolutely should because that's five, six hundred bucks that you may as well set on fire, right? That's why you folks want to come here to me, come here to the MLS Search and Analysis Show, right? I am here to help you do your due diligence, and through due diligence, we realize this one, not a good deal, but that doesn't mean the other two you guys sent to me uh, is going to be the same. Let's get into one of those videos after this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.